So assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Um, my name is Saida Bano. For those who've not met me previously, um, I'm a mindset coach and a faith-based mentor. Um, and I help my clients um, on their journey of growth, mental, spiritual, emotional and spiritual, inshallah. So alhamdulillah, I'm honored today. Uh, I'm honored to be your guide um, today for this forgiving yourself guided meditation, an opportunity for you to let go, for you to surrender so that you can truly move forward, inshallah. So I hope that this space it allows you to do that. Um, and with this collective intention, um, group healing is and group healing is extremely extremely powerful like i've mentioned previously so inshallah let's hope that we can all take full advantage of this time together true and truly truly immerse ourselves into healing and forgiveness in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's light and presence inshallah so our work our work is ultimately to submit to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala okay and so to do this we must shift and hold our mind in a constant positive view of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ourselves and also of other people and forgiveness is one way is a tool is a spiritual tool where we forgive others we forgive ourselves so we can maintain a positive view inshallah so forgiveness is an important is important because if we don't forgive we hold on to anger we hold on to hurt we hold on to bitterness and hate inside of us and those feelings impact and cloud our heart they they create veils over heart and they prevent us from truly seeing seeing clearly because we don't want to see with the eyes we want to see with the heart inshallah so the most important person that we need to forgive is ourselves if we cannot forgive ourselves for our mistakes for our errors for our shortcomings for our misjudgments then how can we truly forgive other people and the only way to forgive yourself is to allow yourself to feel those feelings, whatever it is that you're feeling. Yeah, feel the, the, the feelings of shame, feel those feelings of guilt, the frustration, the anger, the resentment, the hatred, the self-loathing, and anything else that's holding you back. Allow yourself to feel those emotions. Feel them and work them through in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's presence and in his light and then we simply let it go so just let it go and tell yourself it's okay and it really is it's the past and it's done and there's nothing that me or you or anyone can do about it if we need to apologize to anyone if we need to repent if we need to ask somebody's forgiveness then we that's the action that we take but it's important that we're able to internally let that go give yourself a chance to start fresh we are not our mistakes just because you did something or you didn't do something you you took the wrong action or you didn't take an action doesn't mean that you're going to do it or not do it again okay and when we truly forgive ourselves we let ourselves go we let it go internally we allow ourselves the opportunity to better we allow ourselves the opportunity to strive for excellence but we can only do that if we truly let go of that emotional, that spiritual, that mental baggage that we're holding on to. You can change, you can improve, and you can go beyond. And if we hold on to those past wrongs and we beat ourselves up constantly, which you know we're so um, guilty of doing, you can't truly, you can't fully move forward. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we've got to remember not just here, but here, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive us. He is the most merciful. He is a Rahim. And if we truly are sincere in our forgiveness, He will forgive. But that's we have to be willing to accept that in our heart and then let it go. And so it's the trick of the shaitan. He wants to make you believe that what you did is unforgivable. And so he wants to keep you stuck in that state of feeling bad. Yeah. And feeling bad, feeling negative, having unforgiving thoughts about yourself, it prevents you and it limits you from doing good. So inshallah, we want to learn from the lessons. We want to repent. We want to apologize. We want to forgive ourselves. We want to move forward safe in the knowledge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's erased everything from our records. And so when you're able to do that for yourself, inshallah, 
you'll be able to, it'll be easy for you to forgive other people. And others, just like you, they are not defined by their mistakes. They're not defined by their shortcomings. And if they've wronged you, they're not bad people. They just did a bad thing. And that's what we've got to remember. Our feelings do nothing to the other person. They will go about their life unaffected by the fact that you're still angry at them. Your forgiveness, and this is something that I remind my clients time and time again, is that your forgiveness is not for them, is not for the other person. It, but it's actually freeing you, it's freeing yourself from those chains, from those shackles that are holding you back, inshallah. So I want you to reflect upon these beautiful words. Maybe just close your eyes for a moment. Just want you to reflect upon these beautiful words that I came across. I forgive, it is part of my majesty. I forgive, it is part of my majesty. You forget, neglect, and make mistakes. It is part of your nature. Do not aim for perfection. I did not create you perfect. Your weaknesses allow you to see clearly how much you need me. Bring me your shortcomings. Repent. Ask for forgiveness. Ask for help. It humbles you and it deepens our relationship. Believe that I will forgive you and move forward without the weight of guilt, secure in my love for you. And when you fall short again, come back to me again. This life is such that you will always need my forgiveness. Even when you are able to conquer one weakness, I will challenge you with another as I constantly seek to purify your character. You will never be free of your need for my forgiveness and my help. Therefore, do not despair about your failings. They are key to your connection to me. And we make mistakes, don't we? And we do things to others. And we add to the suffering with judgment, anger, and blame. So forgiveness isn't the same as condoning ourselves for misbehavior. But we so easily hold ourselves infinitely and forever responsible, often for experiences that were utterly beyond our control or from decades past. So inshallah, with forgiveness, we want to make amends. We want to let go of that extra baggage. So inshallah, let us make an intention. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim. Bismillahi rahman rahim I want you to make a personal intention. What is it that you want to ask what so what is the intention sorry that you want to set today what healing what is it that you want to gain what is it that you want to experience what is it that you want to connect and heal from in today's guided meditation what is it that you need from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what is it that you're seeking and consciously in your heart, I want you to bring, to affirm this. I want to connect to you, O oh Allah. I want to heal with your light. I want to receive from you. Inshallah, let us make a collective intention. Oh Allah, you are our creator, our God, our Allah. And we have no one to turn to except you. Your beloveds 
have gathered here today in a state of humility with their needs. Cover us with your mercy, with your guidance, with your light. Open our hearts to receiving the love that you continuously pour towards us and with which you created us and with which you sustain us and inspire our hearts to awaken progressively and increasingly to the truth so that we may be able to fulfill our divine destiny that for which you created us. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen Ar-Rahmanir rahim Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in Ihdina sirat al-mustaqin Sirat al-lazina an'amti alayhim Ghayri al-mawdubi alayhim Inshallah, let us begin. I want you to get yourself into a comfortable position and close your eyes. And let out a big exhale. And sink deeper into your position. Take a moment to scan your body for any discomforts. Make any adjustments you need to relax you even further. Bring your attention to any area of your body that you feel is holding any tension and simply ask it to relax and let go and surrender. into a deep, deep state of relaxation and surrender. And allow the stillness to arise. Enjoy this moment. and cultivate this presence inside of you. And if your mind seems to get distracted, just simply bring it back. Gently, with no judgment. And with each breath, I want you to feel yourself go deeper and deeper. And allow yourself to simply immerse into this present moment 
where there is only peace, only love, and only joy. All that truly exists is this present moment, the now. And it is only here that you will find presence in Allah. The past no longer is, and you need not carry it with you, so simply let it go. Breathe. to drink from the infinite ocean of God's love and mercy. In God's presence, there is only peace. True healing can only come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his light and in his presence through our heart. So inshallah, just drop your attention into your heart, your spiritual heart, and bring your awareness here. Find the light of God in the realm of your imagination and bow to this light, prostrating to him, knowing that he is great. He has true power and we are weak and completely, entirely in need of him. And we acknowledge our weakness before him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we know that true healing can only come from him. And inshallah, acknowledge that you're sitting here today in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's presence is one of complete neediness on him. Ya Allah, I can only heal with you. I've tried and I've struggled. And many times I have failed. And my heart is consumed by the world and it brings me pain so much pain, so much heartache. And I try to withstand the tests, but life overwhelms me. And without you, I am nothing. And without you, I can achieve nothing. So inshallah, when we put up Cells in the correct adab, in the correct relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we get more, we receive more. And so now when we call upon him, there is a greater opening, there's a greater connection, there's a greater healing. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, my beloved has called to me and I respond. So inshallah, 
Let us call upon him from the greatest depths of our being and our surrender ourselves completely and entirely and fully, just like a newborn infant in the lap of his mother surrendered. Let us surrender ourselves before Allah. Visualize the name of God, Allah, light emanating from his divine name. Bow to this light and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept your connection and accept your heart and allow your heart to connect with this light emanating from the name Allah. Feel this light enter your heart and breathe. into your being and allow your heart to awaken to the divine presence of God. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is greater than your past. He's greater than your pain. He's greater than your wounds. He's greater than your traumas. And healing is possible through his power and through his light. So simply breathe. Breathe. Breathe with each breath, allowing yourself to enter deeper and deeper into his divine presence. I want you to bring attention to the physical sensation of your breath. Noting whatever it is that is grabbing your attention or whatever it is that you're feeling right now. And without judgment, I want you to bring your attention back to the rise and to the fall of your breath. Ya 
negeri Ya Allah Ya Lafu Ya Rehi Ya Geri Ya Allah Ya Lafu Ya Rehi Ya Wafu, Ya Karim, Ya Rahim, Ya Allah, Ya Wafu, Ya Rahim, Ya Karim, Ya Allah, Ya Wafu. Ya Rahim, Ya Karim, Ya Allah, Ya Ghafur, Ya Rahim, Ya Karim, Ya Allah, Ya Ghafur, Ya Rahim. Ya Allah, Ya Ghafu, <coughs> Ya Rahim, Ya Karim. <coughs> want you to just focus inside yourself. Where is it that you're hiding the guilt, the shame, the embarrassment, the regret, the unforgiveness? And take a moment and locate them in your body. Maybe you feel the tight, tightness in your throat. Or the heaviness in your stomach. Or the burden in your shoulders. Or the pain in your hands. Wherever they are, their emotions heavy emotions and simply identify them, just observe them, that heaviness is real, but today inshallah you can choose to let that go, you can choose to let them go, the guilt the shame, the embarrassment, the regret, the anger, the resentment, the unforgiveness. And you can choose today to forgive yourself, to accept that you are not perfect, that you are human. And that is what makes you so special. You mess up, you learn, you evolve, and you blossom. bring your attention back to your breath. And breathe a little slower. Breathe a little 
途径它。to where your emotions, your heavy emotions are sitting. And on an every exhale, I want you to see those entities, those emotions dissolve just a little bit. Breathe in. Breathe out, watch them dissolve. Breathe in, breathe out, let them dissolve, let them go. wash away in God's divine presence. Breathe in and breathe out. Let them simply wash away. It is time to let them go. Breathe in and breathe out. And with each breath, feel yourself getting lighter and lighter. until you feel that they have washed away, that they have dissolved. Yeah.
take a deep cleansing breath in and wash out any remaining emotions and exhale relaxing your body deep 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 into comfort and calm I forgive myself for not understanding I forgive myself for making mistakes I forgive myself for making it worse I forgive myself for not making it better I forgive myself for not knowing better I forgive myself for not taking action forgive myself for taking the wrong action. I forgive myself for causing pain and suffering to myself. I forgive myself for causing pain and suffering to others. I forgive myself for judging. I forgive myself. I choose to let it go so I can truly and fully move forward. Continue to practice forgiveness over and over and over again. Letting go of whatever it is that holds you back. Sending our Fatiha. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين Inshallah, when you're ready, you can open your eyes.